it is very clear that the pony community is on full panic mode because starfield is imminent they are coming out with some incoherent talking points and i have concluded that most ponies out in these streets has gone mad it's a man house a man house <laughs> So you are saying, you don't believe me, right? You are saying, no, Jay, you are crazy. How the ponies could go mad? Well, then look at Dreamcast guy. Can we actually discuss the idea of Starfield and how nobody's talking about it? That is why, kids, Michael Jordan said, don't do drugs. So don't blow it. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. Are you sure no one is talking about Starfield, Dreamcast guy? Are you gonna play Starfield? Yeah, I'm gonna play Starfield. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be on tour, but I got a nice. No one is talking about Starfield. A video game, oh, okay. right? And they did Fallout and Skyrim, right? And I know that when Starfield comes out, I'm gonna be playing that thing 16 hours a day, baby. Are you really? Oh, That's yeah. your thing? Yeah. yeah, I don't get 16 hours a day. And I don't want to be in a relationship where they're like, we're going to go to the park. You know, and I want to do that. Are you sure, Dreamcast guy, you want to make that statement that no one is talking about Starfield? No one is making videos about Starfield? Absolutely none in the community is making videos on Starfield. <laughs> Oh yeah. But wait guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We have guys who would have been trash talking Bethesda and Starfield for months, literally months. And when they heard that they are not getting a review code for Starfield, they seem to be perplexed about that. <laughs> Take a look. Expect to get a code. Key mailer is letting people apply. Apparently those go out on September the 1st, which would do me no yeah, good it, anyway. Yeah, it's the early access one. Yeah, because I'm on the I'm on the list as well. Oh, did you get a code from Key Mailer? I am I'm yeah, it's on uh, it comes out the first, yeah. Interesting. So you so you went <laughs> this is very interesting. So you went to Key Mailer, right? And yep, you, I qualified you, for it and I have requested one. Yep. With your 30 NSG YouTube channel. Yep, with my 30 NSG with only 1400 1400 uh, subscribers. That's correct. That's really interesting because I applied yep. with 30,000 subscribers and I was declined a couple of weeks ago. So they apparently are filtering filtering certain content creators out then because I wasn't I thought maybe I got filtered for size. No, you got filtered for being a short horse. Come, 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 come. Hold on to this. What? Slap! Because I needed to think. If it is you spoke ill about any company, don't even have to be Microsoft, do you think that they would not vet your content before they give you a code? Come on, man, Reforge. You're supposed to be a little more intelligent than that. But guys, let's talk about how the PlayStation community is going absolutely insane. This week, the PlayStation community complaint about Starfield is that the title screen, yes, the title screen, the first screen that you see when you put in the game, it is barren. It is not stylish. It is bare bone. And the person who is leading the charge um, in making this very foolish argument is a past shamed developer. His name is Grums, also known as Mark Kern. So let's talk about it. This is Island Gaming with Jay, and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's talk about the new guy who is claiming to be the Pony Overlord. Let's get it. After seeing a leaked photo of the Starfield title screen, Grums on Twitter tweeted the physiognomy of start screens the start screen of a game can reveal a lot about how rushed the team was and how much pride they took in their work starfield's start screen either shows hasty shipping deadlines by a passionate team overworked or a team that didn't care so why does what grums say matter you see grums used to be a developer he used to develop for and a matter of fact a very large corporation which is blizzard he worked on games like warcraft diablo 2 starcraft chrono trigger and so forth yes grums was a past developer 
fortunately for the gaming industry, no longer, uh, you know, he no longer develops games or oversees uh, any games being developed. Um, but he made a very interesting point. What he said is that the start screen of any game, you know, it, it really does tell about the game. Well, Mr. Kern, what about this start screen? And this start screen? Is this game here a terrible game? What about this one? Are all these start screens an indication of how good the game is? Very foolish. Come, 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 come. You take one of this too. Slap! So think about it. A past developer is getting in into the console war. He has chosen to, you know, get himself mixed up by picking a side in this console war. And because he did that, of course, Xbox fans would not just sit down while this guy slander the console. They said, Tonight we hunt him down. And we need to stop him tonight. Evil dies tonight! Evil <laughs> we are not playing. Let's see why Mr. Mark Stern or Mr. Stern Mark should be ashamed of mentioning anything about a barren title screen. Let's see why he is a hypocrite. Listen to his file. Mark Kern, the CEO of Red 5 Studios, at least for now. Mark Kern seemed to think of himself as sort of a celebrity. Kern did truly bizarre things that he chalked up to being, well, good marketing. Kern's good marketing was a series of events where he took out numerous trademarks on broad ranges of things, many of which not related to his company Red 5 Studios or even his game Firefall. So yes, Grums is responsible for bringing his company into financial ruin. Notice what one of his colleagues said. Kern left the Blizzard in 2006 to co-found the development company Red 5 Studios. There he worked on the title Firefall before eventually leaving the company after being voted out as CEO by the Redfall board. So he is a failed developer. He was kicked out. He was booted out. They told them, get out of here. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. People's criticisms of him and his spending habits on such, well, frivolous things. The ultimate, uh, advertising move by Kern came with the Firefall bus. Ah, the Firefall bus. The Firefall bus was to be a mobile marketing land center capable of having numerous computer stations with Wi-Fi internet. The bus was rumored to have been as much as three million dollars. I beg your pardon? I beg your So here we have a developer who thinks he's a celebrity. He thinks he is it. And guess what? He was squandering money with a failed idea, with a failed bus, three million dollars. Why is this guy not even ashamed to comment about anything about game development? Firefall bus. What a shame. To Twitter to berate everyone who had something bad to say about the infamous bus. The bad news is, this wasn't an isolated instance for Kern. Even amongst his own development team at Red 5, they seemed to both fear and dislike Mark at the same time. Brutal Whimsy, the inside guy at Red 5 Studios, posted a quite complete account of a number of Red 5 and Firefall failings. One of the most impactful things that he highlighted was eyewitness accounts of Mark Kern and his failings as a leader. He would swoop in one afternoon and berate a series of features teams had spent months on, declaring they begin again and listen to what he told them to do. He'd be back in a few days to see if it was done. This crushed morale and forced people into spontaneous, isolated crunch mode. He would shout and scream his perspectives. He would ignore anything that didn't fit his immediate viewpoint, which was subject to sudden violent changes. He would rage email people in the small hours of the night or on weekends. This was more than just one person's opinion as well. Even on Glassdoor, a website dedicated to rating different companies and their employment seemed to demonstrate much of the same. The CEO goes through spurts and can be there for weeks at a time, then suddenly disappears. He tries to compensate by having open company meetings for anyone who would like to attend, but if he does not postpone or cancel, it is nothing but hearing his ideas and what books he has read. So there you have it. That is Grums in a nutshell. Not only did he bleed his company dry to the point where they had to kick him out, 
he was not a good person to work with he was not a good leader shouting at persons um you know berating persons does that remind you of a certain disease doesn't that remind you that is the sickness of the ponies guys so it's clear grums aka mark stern was the original pony in the making no wonder why the pony community accepted him so beautifully this is island gaming with jay and tell me what you think about it do you see the ponies going crazy because starfield is soon at hand do you see the place is going wild with all these guys galloping on the streets and looking to find for the stuff here let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos later